Hey friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna learn about Node.js URL module. The URL module is the bold end module inside the Node.js. The URL module splits up a web address into readable parts. So you can use this one to split a URL. To include the URL module, you just also all need you need to do is to require that one. Let's make a file. We are inside the tutorial for for folder. We create a file. I call it index.js. Okay, you wanna import or include the HTTP. First, we make a variable. I call it URL. You can call it anything. I use require, and from here I select URL. And just like that, I have imported the URL. Once we have included the URL, now we can use it to pass a URL. It means to split a URL. Let's do it to pass an address with a URL pass method, and it will return a URL object with each part of the address as properties. So, what this means, for example, let me show it here. We have a URL called my website dot com slash or anything and we have a url for example my page dot html and slash maybe a username is equal to something and we have for example email equal to something what this url uh, uh, module allow us to split this url for example from this one we can take the page name the username itself the email or whatever it can be we can get the path we can do a lot of this by using this URL module so this is very useful module inside the node.js let now let's see how to do it okay we import it we include the URL okay after that I make uh, a URL okay let's make a new URL that's the URL I want to split so variable I call it address and I just put a dummy URL whatever you like you can post for example we have a website it could be inside the uh, local host maybe 3000 and after that we have the page called default.html and we have here which is equal to 2000 uh, and we also have month this could be for example February okay this is a new URL and you want to use this URL uh, module to split this one how we can do that this is very easy uh, all you need to do is to use the URL dot pass so let's make a new variable I call it Q for example and I use URL dot pass and inside this one I put my address the URL string which is the ADR and after that I need to put the parse query string which could be true in this case and we can use this queue to do a lot of things with this for example if we use this queue to read the address the path and search and whatever so let's come down now I want to do is to use this queue which is the URL pass from this address and I want to get the host so let's console and uh, console.log and from the queue if I put a dot there's a lot of option you see I can get the host host name which are your path and a lot of things I want the host let's save it and open the terminal inside the terminal I say note index.js this is how we can run it press enter and there we have this is the host now let's do something else now I want a console lock and from the queue this time I want the path name let's save it and run it again and there we have this is my host and this is my path name which is default dot HTML which is exactly this okay can do a lot of thing with this one for example now I want to get the search which is this okay let's save it and run it again and yeah now we have the host 
the path and the search which is here equal to 2021 and month is the February this is the search so you got it right we can do we split the URL and you can uh, make it readable that's how uh, that is the user of URL pass okay let's do something else uh, I want to return an object of the year and month how we get to do that it is very easy we just use the query let's make another variable I call it queue data and this is equal to the queue dot but this time we use query this query okay let's console dot lock and from the uh, the queue data I want to select there is a lot of things I can select what I want to select I want to select whatever it, there it is there we have year and month and what it does the query put this let, let's run it and show you let's save this one and clear here it puts this uh, part of the URL inside an object let's run it note index.js you see now we have an object of which inside the object we have the year and the month we can display uh, each element of this object so let's display the year after the queue data I can put a dot and put here let's now run it again and now we have just the year let me come on this one and run it again and you see we have the year we, where we got the year the query puts this part of the, uh, the, uh, the URL inside the object and from that object which we put inside this variable we can select the elements which in this case we have year and month now let's say queueData.month now we should get the month and there we have February this is the power of URL module okay now we know how to parse the query string and in the previous chapter we learned how to uh, make a node.js uh, to behave a, a, like a server if you didn't watch that video make sure to watch i put the link in the description now let's uh, combine that uh, the, uh, this two and uh, make a file requested by the client uh, this is like i want to make uh, we create two html file and save them in the same folder where we have our and uh, our node.js which this index that it is which is inside this tutorial full so let's do it let's make a file I delete everything from here close the terminal I make a file and I call this file for example summer dot uh, HTML let's let me first tell you what you want to do for example you have a website for example localhost slash whatever it is whenever the user come to a URL for example you want to search summer sorry summer it redirects the user it doesn't redirect but it gets the data from the summer.html and display in here if we say winter it display the files from the winter that's how it works now let's create uh, let me create uh, a basic HTML5 structure and inside this one I say I make an h1 you call it summer and close my h1 and I make a paragraph I can say I love the Sun something like this save this one and we have to make another file I call this one winter.html inside this one just like before we make uh, an h1 I say winter and I make a paragraph paragraph and inside I say I love the snow and save this one now we have two separate files which is one is summer and another one is winter now let's come back to our index.js inside this one uh, we want the user can request uh, the URL and we return the content to the client if anything goes wrong we throw uh, 404 error which means the page doesn't exist so let's make it inside my index.js I make a variable I want to import the HTTP module so this is very easy required HTTP 
and after that what I want to do I want to import uh, the URL module also trick wire and URL and after that uh, we also I want to import the file system library if you do not know what are they uh, there is a full tutorial for each of them in my channel you just need to check my channel and find out about all of these modules okay now let's create a server by using http.create server and inside this we have a function which have two parameter request and response I want to tell you once more if you don't know what are these things please watch the tutorial inside my channel about Node.js you have to watch the HTTP tutorial the file system and everything to understand this much better okay inside my create server function I want to make a variable in Q and this is equal to URL dot parse just like we did in the uh, <laughs> just a moment ago but this time we doesn't have a URL as a variable we have the actual URL from the server and what is that this is this request so put the request and what of the request we want the URL of the request and set it to true okay after that we make a variable I call it file name and this one is equal to this is the file where the file we want to select so we have to file like oh, call it summer and the other one is winter because we have them inside the root folder we have to make uh, a dot okay something like this and join this one with a plus and Q from this URL what you want to get we want to get the path name okay now you know this thing what is the path name just we did it in the form of the code so it takes the path name and also before everything it puts a dot that's how we select the root folder okay after that we make the fs and what we want we want to read the file we talked about fs read file in the last video if you didn't watch yet please watch it i put the link in the description okay okay what we want to read we want to read the file name which comes from this variable okay we put the file name and after that we have a function which have error and data inside this function what we have first we check if there is any error or not if there is any error we want to uh, set uh, write something at the response so risk for the response and we want to write head and to uh, we want to give it a 404 which means this page doesn't exist and we make an object which to tell the browser what is what this is and content type and this is an HTML so text slash HTML okay and after that we wanna send we wanna return a response and this time we wanna end the response with a message 404 not found so it means if the user if the cl client open a page uh, that doesn't exist we give them this we send them this charts a uh, 404 not found message okay let's uh, close this function so this is for checking the error if there is no error what we want we want to send a response and write head what we want to write we want to say 200 which means everything is okay and just like before we say the counter type to text html and after that we want to use the response to write okay response right what we want to write this means what you want to send to the client you want to send them the data and what is the data this is the data and what is the data the data is the file itself which is summer.html and winter.html okay okay and we also want to return and end this response return response end okay this is our function for creating the server we just need to make a listener so listen in port 3000 okay let's save let's go to the terminal new terminal and let's run it note index dot sorry index dot js let's go to the browser and open localhost 3000 and here we go we have 404 not found if we slash and type 
summer which is the file name what we get we get nothing let me check why okay there's no problem our page is called summer.html not summer launch summer.html and there we go we have summer page if you open the winter.html and we have winter and I love the snow remember one thing this this doesn't come from the uh, it from like how oh, I can tell you this doesn't come directly from uh, the location it comes from by using node.js okay let me show you one thing so you can understand this much better here I said window.html and this is the page it locks now what if inside our project folder we make another folder call it pages and we put both of this summer and winter inside the pages now they are not inside the root folder so they are not here where are they they are in here slash page slash winter.html but we want to read them directly from the root folder it means website slash winter.html now there's nothing inside the root you see we have those files inside the pages but what you can do we come to our index and from here instead of this dot I see pages slash which means read the file from the page for me and put it at the root now let's save this one and restart my server okay let's run it again now we doesn't need to go to the like this pages slash summer dot html you see we have nothing why because the files came from the node.js not from the file itself so inside the root if you type summer html we should get it you can see the files are inside the page folder but you can easily get it this is super useful right let's also run the winter and we have the winter as well if we write a wrong url we get 404 not found i hope you understand what this means and how the url works with combination of uh, http and file system so i hope you guys learned something from this video and if you learn something and if you have any question make sure to let me know on the comment below and uh, make sure to do some experience with this you have to try multiple things to understand this much better whether without exercise you can learn anything remember that so guys if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and press the bell icon thank you for watching